your psychic astro cast by Yield is Readings 5D, your psychic medium, soul coach and intuitive astrologer online. Do you want it all in one place? Are you tired of getting less and really wanting more? Are you ready for a better ride? The First Wives Club says it best, don't get mad, get everything. If you're ready for your guidance from point A to point B in love, career, wellness and more, Join our Psychic Astro cast with Yildiz Readings 5D. Let's get your life roadworthy and ready for success. Get it all with psychic updates, intuitive astrology, soul coaching and more. Information is power. Welcome to our Psychic Astro cast online with Yildiz Readings 5D. Yes, we are going to dive into the what, why, where, when and how and have a look at what's coming up this month to best navigate it. We'll first look back at last month to make some sense and context of it, and then into the must-know transits for the month. Yes, we have all areas covered. You can stream forward and stream back to the area of concern. And please feel free to visit us online at yourdisreadings.com for your VIP edition. These are covered bi-monthly, and yes, as I mentioned, in the future, these may become a weekly edition. Those of you that are keen to really understand what went down last month to help you best navigate moving forward, especially if you were really up in your head, to do with a particular area in your life, I'm going to help you make some context of that. Separately, we're then going to get straight into the updates for the Big Boy Transits for the month of July 2022. If you do wish to, you can stream forward into the section that you find is most interesting or important to you at this point in time. Without further ado, let's take a look down memory lane. Now, yes, we did have quite a heavy transit last month, and especially due to the fact we were having a double Mercury retrograde. Even though it did go direct by the third shadow direct, it was a double Mercury retrograde. And during Mercury retrogrades, as we all know, they can be quite tedious. This one being a double whammy did cause a lot of conflict. We may have seen in the collective, in our working environment, uh, lack of staff, um, extra burdens with their schedules, stress levels and conflict mentally and physically. We had a full moon on the 14th in Sagittarius. Now, yes, this again did take us back to the past, all the way back to the eclipse season in 2021. So if you can remember back, very much linking to when we had a Venus retrograde, we did have an eclipse in Sagittarius. So Psychically, I was picking this would feel a little bit like an eclipse and it was because it was ending that cycle. So if you can think back to 2021 and situations that you personally were dealing with, you were closing that cycle. Now, Neptune also was gearing up ready to go retrograde by the 28th of July. This did come very close to that new moon in Cancer, which are the themes that we will be moving into the month of July 2022 with. The other thing I can say is due to the fact we are so close at the end of the month, moving into July with that, those are things that will continue into the month of July 2022. This can be a time where things become very transparent, very realistic. Initially, we may experience it and feel a little bit disillusioned, unsafe and projectile. So forewarned, forearmed. Now, the must know for July 2022, as mentioned previously, is the recovery of Neptune retrograde. During that cycle, in the area of Pisces, you will be quality assuring and taking a very realistic approach. Retrogrades don't have to be negative. They're a time of introspection and adjustment. This month, we have a full moon in Capricorn and a new moon in Leo. We also have Juno, the asteroid of marriage moving retrograde, which can at a collective level cause triggers within relationships, be it your single or couple. Those blasts from the past like Venus retrograde can occur. I'm hosting a webinar on the 12th if you want that added support. Moreover, this does retrograde on the 24th of July. Deep healing, we do have Aries in Chiron moving retrograde on the 19th of July. This also can be a time where we can reflect, we can heal, and we can gain extra courage to deal with any of those emotional challenges. Jupiter also, by the 19th, will move retrograde when it does come to expansion, transformation, and jumping in the deep end. 
we might feel that we're going backwards. Now, this doesn't have to be a negative thing. This can be a time within our charts and within our lives where we are reflecting and quality assuring those actions and steps forward for 2024. Aquarius, welcome to your psychic astrocast for your love life. Yes, we're going to have a look at how this next two weeks is going to be panning out for you. Now, we did just move away from July where we had the new moon in Cancer. We also had Neptune in Pisces retrograding. This also is the location where Juno, the marriage asteroid, will be retrograding this month. So pay attention to that energy. This can be a time emotionally where you could feel a little bit tired. You might have a lot on your plate. You also could be looking at life like you're feeling like you're a little bit like a rat in a cage. Um, some of you could be getting fit. I also feel romantically um, you're going to be in that, um, in that zone. You're going to want to connect with people. You're going to want to have that inner freedom and a time where you can intellectually stimulate yourself. So I feel if you were isolated away from individuals, you're really, really wanting to connect. The other thing I can say is due to the fact we have Black Moon Lilith in Cancer and it does link to your sixth house, uh, you may want your own space. For some of you, you might find, like I said, you feel like a little bit like a rat in a cage. Now, Venus in the house of Gemini is transiting through your fifth house. This can be a very fertile time, pre-warned, forearmed. And yes, it can be a very romantic time. I do feel your senses are going to want to be tantalized. You also could have some amorous advances from individuals, especially linked to work. As Juno later in the month does move retrograde, yes, big subjects to do with confidence can come up. And you also may really be reflecting upon how some of your connections potentially affected either your self-esteem or your ability to invest. And so, you know, it's a two-sided coin. So Juno tends to be quite karmic in its nature. It's not there to harm us. It's a little bit like a Venus retrograde. We reflect upon it and see whether our ideals relating to relationships are going to be on the same page. Now, you are very goal-orientated this year. Saturn retrograde is making you look at, like I said, what your part in it was and what the other party's part of it is. This does give you an opportunity this month with the first two weeks we're covering, a time to tune into social experiences, a time to invest in your career, but overall, in the realm of love, you're going to be deeply passionate and some of you may want to move, okay? So there could be a, any conflict you've had with an individual. I feel the um, dirty laundry can be coming out. Be super careful of gossip this month uh, and, and stay clear of any of that. I do feel big plans, but I also feel possibilities of linking to people on a social front as well as on a romantic. You're going to be spicy. That's one thing. Let's have a look at couples. And yes, in the VIP edition online at yieldersreadings.com, we do cover twin flame path inside your star signs. Okay, let's have a look at couples. Very hectic last month with a double Mercury retrograde. Yes, we had it in Taurus and Gemini. We are all recovering, okay? At the same time, yes, this month, we're going to have Juno retrograde and Jupiter retrograde. So it's the yin to the yang. It's the efforts and the momentum and the spontaneity. It's calming down. It's retrograding for reflection and quality assurance. Now, you can find in the first week, it can be a little bit testing inside your connections. Your schedule might not permit for both parties in the mix to have that deep and meaningful even though you might feel all loved up and know where to go routines might also feel a little bit tedious and yes you can be super fertile the other thing i can say is if you feel somebody's not pulling their weight you may just let it rip so be careful because mars will be transiting from your third house of communication into the fourth house and conflict around children family and <laughs> dynamics so to speak can make you boil if you are having changes around home, there could be a circumstance where you're A, saving, B, trying to do something to do with home at a financial level. You're also trying to keep the equilibrium at home. So if there is conflict, it can be a time that you're trying to smooth the edges out. 
ah, uh, you know, you might be stepping back and watching it go down. So just try and keep out of the drama, but it can be very passionate and intense. The second week you may be in your head to do with how to proceed forward. Now, yes, this can be a big conversation. This can feel as though you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, or it also can be on a higher octane, big decisions relating to the future. Then we move towards the 12th, where the moon transits into the house of Capricorn, linking to your 12th house, and Pluto's there too. Pluto next year will be transiting into the house of Aquarius, so I will do a bit of an update based on that a little bit later in the piece and some of my predictions of what I see psychically coming through. Now, with the full moon in Capricorn on the 13th, this could be a closing of a cycle. It also be, could be deep healing. Best not to maybe in, get intoxicated. Uh, this can cause added problems from a spiritual point of view with the 12th house. Increase the fluid and look after your mind wellness. Big changes. See you for volume two. Let's have a look at the next sector of your chart. Keeping calm and proceeding. That will be the name of the game in the first week of July 2022. This can be an intense time, especially for you, Aquarius, psychologically. You might have to keep your P's and Q's. Some things can be driving you a little bit batty and patience will be the best process. Now, you, you may need to be organised. You do have the sixth house. You also could get a little bit run down, so it's really key that you really look after your wellness. This can be getting adequate sleep, eating healthy, and trying to reduce that stress level. Definitely when you come home from work, maybe dropping the baggage at the door, easier said than done, and knowing that you can deal with it tomorrow, but it can be a bit stressful. As we move to the second week, we are having the moon transit Scorpio from the 8th, and this will be for the first two days from the 8th to the 9th. You can have a lot to do with your career coming up, and this can bring emotions. Now, that can be good or bad, depending on what the direct environment is. Yes, as we reach the full moon in Capricorn, things can be intense. I will dive deeper into this in the VIP edition online. I also will cover business astrology for those of you either A, working from home, or directly working in a business. Changes in your wellness zone. It could either be that you have a lot on your plate and it is opening a brand new cycle for you. A lot of this you might have seen themes of in 2020, and that was when we had the great conjunction between Cancer and Capricorn. You may be doing something different at this point in time that can be transforming your health for better or worse. For many of you, this is going to be a positive thing, but you will need to maintain and look after your body, mind, body and soul. Your emotions can be bringing some of this up as well as you organising yourself. I feel by keeping that quite structured, it teaches us a very valuable lesson with the placement. Being organised is key. Can we have ailments that come up a hundred? Are you looking at getting fit? Potentially, there is this notion of physical activity. I do see by the second week, this is going to become extremely busy and you may need to balance your crown chakra by the time we reach that full moon in Capricorn. Great time to clear the home cheeky vibe with your psychic energy tuning in and I am getting a very separate kind of update psychically than I did for the VIPs. Mm. This could be because I am tuning into a different audience. Some of you do have this um, cheekiness coming through and, and this can be you've got something up your sleeve. I feel you, 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 you're keeping your P's and Q's about you. You're definitely not sharing everything that is not privy to another individual and you are observing, but I do feel this cheeky kind of giggle coming through that you're, um, you have this plan of action. So I'd love to hear how that plays out for you. Feel free to PM me via the website at gildasreadings.com. Now, separately, I feel you're very goal orientated. Um, you're determined to make something shift and you're, you're going to make it work no matter what. This, this feels very stubborn. It's quite amusing. It's done or not, I'm going to make this happen. And I, and I really do feel you will. By having faith in yourself and looking after yourself, I feel you're going to be able to make these things come true. Now, there could be an observation on what you are looking at with um, some group individuals. And you may think they're silly. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I think you might just be looking at it and thinking, gee, you guys are silly. You, 
it's almost the analogy of life is too short and, and that's how it's coming through we will check in with this energy again in volume two feel free to come back and join us otherwise i'll see you on the other side either on my website at yieldersreadings.com or online on youtube take care thanks for joining our psychic astrocast online with yielders readings 5d if you haven't downloaded the app, please do so. Yes, you can actually get your posts on the go. Bookings, webinars, updates, notifications and more. We also provide YouTube notifications if you didn't know. Yes, we will see you for each edition online with Yieldus Readings, potentially more to come. Have a blessed month.